On behalf of FRG Ministry, I'd like to welcome you to this time of adoration. This is an extraordinary opportunity for us to turn to the Lord. Jesus gave us his body, blood, soul and divinity through the Eucharist. And we get the privilege of being able to adore Christ. Now I know that you are far away from the actual event, but God can still work. God can still heal. You can still adore the God who is with you and the God before whom we stand on your behalf. I am so grateful that for those of you who have been joining this Holy Week retreat for the graces that God has bestowed on you, but the best is yet to come. As we contemplate Jesus' death and his burial and eventually his resurrection, let's sit with the Lord. There'll be moments where we can pray together, but there'll also be moments where we can be still and be silent. Myself and Alyssa here will be leading you in this time of worship. And we just ask you to, to allow God to work in your heart, to allow God to heal you as we adore the Lord, as we confess our sins to the Lord, and as we ask Him to reach out to a world that is in need. I, for those of you who haven't joined the retreat, also we have a link below for you to join in, to download the PDF, to be able to follow us. And there'll also be the subtitles, I hope, on the screen so that you can follow with us. So as we begin this time of worship, let's stop. Let's just ask God to reach into our hearts. Let's ask God to, to, to heal and to restore us and to allow us to be present with the Lord. We 
Jesus, we worship you. We thank you, Lord, for being here with us. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so much, so unconditionally. Lord, we thank you that you love us so much that you came down into this world to be with us, to fellowship with us, to love us. But love us so much that you want us to be with you forever. And this is why, Lord Jesus, you died for us. And so, Lord, we want to spend time with you. As you told your disciples to spend some time with you during his time of suffering, we too want to spend time with you. We love you, Jesus. We desire you. And so, Lord God, we ask, as we begin this time of worship, this time of adoration, that you speak to our hearts, that you melt our hearts, that we may be able to receive all that you want to give us. Lord, I'd like to pray for those who come to you with a desire to love you more, with those who come with the need for healing, with those who come broken and in need of restoration. Lord, we come to you with those, Lord, who, who are tired, exhausted, and don't know that they can go on anymore. But also we come to you, Lord, with your people who are grateful, thankful for what you've done in their lives. Lord, we pray also and lift also at the beginning of this time your world, a world suffering from pandemic, a world suffering from isolation, a world suffering from economic breakdown. Lord, you throughout all of this remain the same, remain loving us the same. And so we welcome you, Jesus, into our hearts. Come, Jesus, send your Holy Spirit into our houses, into our offices, wherever we are at this moment. Come and heal your people. So we come to the Lord, time of adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication. And so let's in a moment of silence just adore Jesus. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you want. Tell him what he is to you. Tell him your doubts. 
Give him your heart. So together we'll pray a litany of adoration. Your response will be, I adore you, O Jesus. You are in the Holy Eucharist, body and blood, soul and divinity. I adore you, O Jesus. You are my Lord and my God. I adore you, O Jesus. You are the second person of the Blessed Trinity. I adore you, O Jesus. You are both God and man. I adore you, O Jesus. You come to me in holy communion. I adore you, O Jesus. You come to me and you are always in the tabernacle. I adore you, O Jesus. You take away our sins by the sacrifice of the cross. I adore you, O Jesus. You obtain grace for us by the cross. I adore you, O Jesus. You offer yourself for us in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. I adore you, O Jesus. Speak to us, O Lord. You know the Lord speaks that we might not be able to hear, we might not be able to understand. The Lord is speaking. He's speaking to your heart because He loves you. But the thing is, it's nothing to do with how good you are, how perfect you are, whether your life is in order or not. You see, God loves you and cannot love you anymore. He cannot love you any less. The only thing that can stand in the way of our love for Him is when we don't trust in His love. We don't trust that He can love us. One of the ways we don't trust that He can love us is when we hold on to sin and we don't allow God to heal our sin. We don't ask God for forgiveness. We don't approach the sacrament of reconciliation. These are ways we block ourselves off the love of God, not because God stops loving us when we have sin. It just takes away our capacity to be able to receive this love. So what we're going to do at this moment, we're going to place ourselves before the Lord and we're going to make an act of contrition. We're going to ask for forgiveness. But as we are before Jesus, we are at this place of forgiveness this place of mercy. We're going to ask for His mercy, for His grace. So, even at this moment, just think of the sins, the things that stand in the way of your love for God and your love of God, for the ways you've sinned. Maybe through relationships, maybe through your thoughts, maybe through things you know you should have done and you didn't, maybe through an attitude, maybe through something you did, maybe big, maybe small. God is able to forgive, whether it is big, whether it is small. 
So let's just pray this together. My Jesus, I am sorry for my sins. I'm sorry for the times I have offended you. Help me to turn away from sin. Help me to live more like you every day. And so after every response, you can respond, I am sorry, Jesus, for loving things more than you. I am sorry, Jesus. For those who do not attend Sunday Mass. I am sorry, Jesus. For the lack of respect for the name of God. I am sorry, Jesus. For the lack of respect for parents and authority. I am sorry, Jesus. For the attacks against life. I am sorry, Jesus. For attacks against marriage and family. I am sorry, Jesus. For offending you. I am sorry, Jesus. For offending my neighbor. I am sorry, Jesus. For offending those I love. I am sorry, Jesus. And so in your presence, we ask you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. And we ask for your forgiveness. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And so now we just sit before the cross, before the foot of the cross, Jesus who is there, who loves us, and just receive his forgiveness, receive his love.
thank you. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for loving us. We thank you, Lord, that even through the pain, through the suffering, through the joys, through the, the successes, you are there. You don't move. You never move. Lord, teach us to trust you. And so, Lord, at this moment, we just ask that you heal us, that you touch us. Lord, I'd like to pray for those who are praying for healing, those who are praying for healing in their bodies, in their minds, those who are praying for healing from cancer, those who are praying for healing with blood disorders, those who are praying for healing with a, a deep sense of anger, frustration. Lord, from broken relationships, from people who, from, who, who hurt them, Lord. Heal your people. Do you know, Jesus is present here and he's already healing. He's already touching people. Lord, I thank you that you're healing a person right now, even from their lower spine, Lord. You are able to heal and we thank you, Lord. Lord, for those who have some kind of scar tissue on an internal organ in their, maybe their heart, Lord, you're healing that even right now that has been causing you trouble. Lord Jesus, I thank you, thank you, thank you that you're able to heal this. Lord, people who are suffering from tinnitus, Lord, are ringing in their ear. Lord, I thank you right now that you're healing your people. Lord, those with anxiety, depression, heal them, Lord. Heal them, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are capable, you are able. Thank you, Jesus. And so we'll pray together as we, we pray the litany of thanksgiving. And at the end of each one, you just pray, Jesus, we thank you. Because you are in the Holy Eucharist. Jesus, we thank you. Because you offer yourself in Holy Mass. Jesus, we thank you. Because you come to us in Holy Communion. Jesus, we thank you. Because you remain always in the tabernacle. Jesus, we thank you. Because of your great love for us. Jesus, we thank you. Because of your great goodness to us. Jesus, we thank you. Because you understand us. Jesus, we thank you. Because you love us. Jesus, we thank you. Because every gift comes from you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, because of your dear sacred heart. Jesus, we thank you. And so, Lord, we sit with you. As the apostles sat with, the, with Jesus, with you, Lord, at Gethsemane. They were there, they were still. They were tired, <laughs> they were lost, but you were still there, Lord Jesus, in your pain, in your own anxiety and frustration, in your own fear, Lord. But Lord, you didn't let the anxiety control you, you didn't let the fear control you. So Lord, we pray for your world, a world that is fearful, a world that is lost and separated from you, a church also that is asleep, that is too tired to stay with you. Raise us up. Wake us up. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray for holy priests. We pray for holy families. We pray for a holy people who would rise up as your voice in this church. And Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus that the church would wake up, that the church would rise up as a voice of hope in this world. Lord, you who went to the cross for your church, give us, quicken us to rise up, to let go of the things that are selfish pride, of power, of security. In the name of Jesus, Lord, help us let go and trust in you. I 
pray the Lord for seminarians and priests that you raise them up to be holy holy people people who are dead to self alive in you I pray for your the women in your church Lord Jesus raise their voice raise their voice as a prophetic voice a voice that the church is so desperate to hear I pray Lord God for your people for your families protect them and guide them Lord those who are suffering right now with the pandemic heal them so I'm just going to pray a prayer of vocation at this moment and then we'll have another time of worship and benediction so, Father in heaven, we give you thanks for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to be our Lord, Savior, and High Priest. We believe that in the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus won for us the gift of eternal life by his sacrifice on the cross. We believe that Jesus renews this sacrifice in the Holy Eucharist through the ministry of his priests. Father, we earnestly beseech you to raise up holy priests in your church. Grant young men the strength to accept generously the call to the priesthood. May they joyfully give their lives so that your people can receive your holy word and sacraments, especially the Holy Eucharist, and the great gift of your body, blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior and High Priest, in whose name we make our prayer. Amen. And so we'll pray the prayer of benediction. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, and blessed be his most precious blood, and blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. And blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
on behalf again of FRG Ministry, thank you for joining us for this time of adoration. This has been a, a, a holy week where we've been able to serve you, to support you. And tomorrow, Good Friday, we have the Stations of the Cross. Saturday, um, also, we have something. I'm not sure what it, we, we have on Saturday. I, I can't just remember. And then Sunday, Holy Mass as well. So please join us, join with us. Um, we love to serve you and if you have been blessed by this ministry please do consider supporting this ministry we're able to do the things that we do here because of your generosity because of the way you bless us so just go on the link just here below frgministry.com forward slash donate and um, show your support and um, give us your support so that we can support you we can continue to bless you again thank you may God bless you may his face shine upon you and I pray that you continue to thirst for the Lord with all of your heart. And I wish you a wonderful and a holy um, freedom um, as we continue this time uh, preparing ourselves for the death and the resurrection of Christ. FRG Ministry presents Introduction to the Bible. In this six-part course, you will learn about what the Bible is and is not, the Old Testament, the New Testament, how to read and how to pray with the Bible. Whether you're looking for a place to start your journey with the Word of God, or you're looking for a place to expand upon what you already know, this course has something for everyone. Features of this course include two hours of high-definition videos with teaching from very Reverend Dr. Brian Boyle, Biblical Scholar, and input from the Catholic Influencers Podcast, hosted by Father Rob Gallia and Alyssa Ages. Testimonies from everyday Catholics about the role of Scripture in their lives, downloadable content including an interactive PDF to guide you through this course with beautifully designed prayer cards and computer and phone wallpapers and accreditation for professional development for Catholic education staff in Australia. Get ready for the introduction to the Bible and enroll today at courses.frgministry.com.